Hey guys, welcome back to Just Survive. I got some breaking daybreak news for you guys. This will be a live mic with some rough cut here. So we're just kind of just uh, doing it off the cuff on this nice sunrise in the game. So guys, let me just go ahead and read some of the excerpts that are out there right now so you guys can kind of get an idea of where it started. Um, we, uh, at no, we know at this time, of course, what the outcome is. So let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. This is going to be from Massively OP. I might mention, uh, I'm going to link all this information down in the published section below. Let's go ahead and start off. On April the 6th, the U.S. Department of Treasury targeted several Russian oligarchs and froze their assets due to destabilizing activities by these figures, including suspect interference in the 2016 U.S. election. As you guys may recall, all that complete nonsense is starting to sound like almost like a Friday vlog here. One of the oligarchs so punished was Victor Velksberg, who owns uh, who owns the Renova Group conglomerate and its subsidiary Columbus Nova. Guys, I'm trying to read and play at the same time here, so if I sound kind of goofy, it's because I'm trying to do uh, two of these things at the same time. Um, I don't have separate monitors, so um, oh, even if I did, I'd still have to do this double. First, I need to find out where the heck my stash is. Oh, I guess I'm. I guess I'm near, but it's not relevant because we're just uh, talking about this anyway. So, readers will recall. Readers will recall that this was widely reported that investment firm Columbus Nova bought SOE from Sony in 2015. In fact, the original announcement on February the second, 2015, John Smedley himself said exactly that. So basically, I'm just trying to get orient oriented here, guys. Um, so I apologize for um, the kind of weird, chaotic gameplay. But um, it's just really just to read this to you guys. I could just keep the character in one spot and read and then, and then go on. But I wanted to at least be in the area or at least be safe. Uh, yeah, I've not even made a base. Um, but the stash should be right over here. I usually put it over here in these berries. Um, so let me just uh, get... Speaking of which, I guess I'm a little further over than I thought I was. Oh, it's going to be right next to that base right there. I don't have a base here, so I know that for sure that's not mine. But um, I'm sorry, guys. Just bear with me here for a second. Let me just go ahead and stop here. Okay. So let me just grab the paper and read it. Um, all right. So readers will recall that this was widely reported that investment firm Columbus Nova bought SOE from Sony in 2015. In fact, the original announcement on February the 2nd, 2015, John Smedley himself said exactly that. Today, we are pleased to announce that we have been acquired by Columbus Nova, an investment management firm <clears throat> well known for its success with its existing portfolio of technology, media, and entertainment-focused companies. This wasn't just Smed talking it up. Here's the original press release, which is all linked. I'll have all those down there for you. Um, and a quote from um, Epstein, and I'll explain who that is here momentarily. So, the twist. Uh, when reached for comment on the story, Daybreak informed the editors of Massively OP, which is part of this article here, that our understanding of Daybreak's ownership was in error... Uh, studying the MMORPG community and beyond, the company spokesperson insisted it had no affiliation with Columbus Nova and that former Columbus Nova rep Jason Epstein is and always has been the primary owner and executive chairman of Daybreak Gaming Company. So there you have it. So some interesting information there because we always understood it to be Columbus Nova. I mean, uh, I know some of you guys uh, have followed me or are subscribers to when I did Landmark. And um, this kind of feels a little bit like Landmark. If you guys are from the Landmark game, you know, be sure to um, let me know because you guys are probably equally as familiar with what's going on here as, um, as some of our other players. And here comes the sun, finally. So let's just kind of stay right here, I guess. Um, all right, so H1Z1 game publisher Daybreak Game Company has laid off an undisclosed number of staffers in its headquarters in San Diego. Games Beat has learned. So... Another of the contributing uh, information sources here is GameBeat. Uh, this happened on Thursday, and today is Friday. Um, the online game publisher helped pioneer the Battle Royale craze with a variant of its H1Z1 game. But the company has faced fierce competition from Epic Games, Fortnite, and Blue Hole's Player Unknown Battlegrounds which have seen a meteoric rise in the past year. In a statement, a spokesperson from the company said, 
Daybreak confirms we are realigning our workforce to better position our company for the future. Because of this, we have had to make an extremely difficult decision to part ways with some of our employees across various um, disciplines at the studio. We are doing everything we can to take care of each affected individual by providing them appropriate transition assistance. All right, guys, so what does it all mean? What does it all mean? So time for me to kind of really speculate. Um, I think just in my opinion right now, there's just, uh, you know, quite a bit going on right now. Um, again, those who have participated in Landmark, this all sounds very familiar to us all, and we kind of know how that resulted. But I think, in my opinion, that um, the Battle Royale version of the game should be should be fine uh, the battle royale and the vehicle royale i think i think those will be fine i think what's going to be the concern for us all is right here just survive and um in the pve format and or even the pvp format so um that's going to be you know probably one of the concerns what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come over here and just take a screenshot for the uh the thumbnail just just including you guys in this complete rough cut open mic i thought about going uh doing like a live um doing like a a, a live stream but it, you know would it, you guys would have missed so much of it so let's go ahead and grab that screenshot right here so you guys can kind of see how i kind of do the game and as always when i come in it's, it's always kind of nighttime but um all right so yeah i think that the battle royale per portion of this game is going to be fine the just survive part hard to say um i think we've, we i think we all can agree that um there was never like any sense of urgency for the game you know there, there was like um you know we saw a lot of the updates and things to the game kind of being more of an adjustment and just a constant recalibration and a constant adjustment in the game yeah you know, we did get you know all this right here we did get uh, bad water canyon as you know as completely new content and, um, you know, because, I mean, think about it. Think about how many times we've had adjustments to, to um, zombies. <laughs> Pretty much day one, it's been a continuous uh, adjustment of zombies and so forth. So I, I've always just kind of wondered, you know, what, you know, why is the game stalling? Why, are, you know, where's the progress we saw, you know, for example, when Smed was around? Because he was pretty much the mandate setter for the game. And I think uh, Planet Side 2 even took a little bit of a, a little bit of a jolt. Now, speaking of those other games out of Daybreak, I don't know um, if if this if these lays off if these layoffs were across the board across the entire um, game company. I'm gonna guess because I saw um, one of my um, contacts that uh, one of the community managers that I met at DragonCon several years back that I occasionally stay in touch with and follow uh, is that's gonna be Colette Murphy. Uh, she was the community manager. She is now in a new position there. I'm not sure what that position is. I don't know if it's part of. I think it's, I think she might be in uh, the marketing in in the marketing company now or publishing or something there at the company. I know that uh, her background is uh, journalism and writing and, and literature and that sort of thing. So, um, but yeah, she essentially just uh, c confirmed on her Twitter, kind of a, a goodbye to all those. Um, and so forth. I'm going to link all that, all that, even even her tweets and the tweets that we've seen, Reddit posts and all that uh, in the game. So I certainly welcome your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments section there below. You know, what you guys think. Uh, like Landmark, I cover the game because it's a game I played. That I mean, that's as, as about as direct as I can get with you guys. I mean, the, the whole reason I cover the game is just simply to cover the game because it's just, it's just part of what I added to the channel. Um, I don't want to phrase it this way, but I will just for the sake of um, context, and that is, you know, win or fail, I was going to cover the game, you know, because I did the same thing with Landmark, you know, whether whether Landmark was going to succeed or not, I covered it, it was there, it was, it's kind of a way for me to show my appreciation to Daybreak, SOE, and Verant, because I've, I, you know, I'm a longtime fan of, um, of the company. Going back to Verant, I've, I've mentioned to the, mentioned this to you guys. Mentioned, I'm sorry guys, I'm just kind of, just one of those days, sorry. Um, I know that I have mentioned to you guys before that I am an original EQ player, and so that's why I just kind of like you know, covering the games out of Daybreak. Which is kind of, just kind of what I do. 
so I guess you can also guys get a little bit of an experience of a completely rough cut, off the cuff, real quick, thrown together video here. But I think it was important that um, you know I kind of reach out to you guys because so many of you have have come here to the channel. I appreciate your support and and all you guys have done throughout the course of the game. And right now we really don't know what direction this game is going to go. And we saw that is it DCG Michael? Is it DCG? Um, you know, the main orchestra, the, the main, I guess, the director of the current game, um, for just a lack of a, a better definition of, of, of just applying who he is, um, has also left. So this is very reminiscent of Landmark. Uh, this is, you know, when we saw uh, Dave Jurgensen leave. Dave leave. Um, and so... Uh, I guess if you guys had a cause for concern, this would certainly be one of those times where there would be a cause for concern. And, um, you know, I'm always going to be here for you guys, covering, you know, whatever happens and uh, what does happen and whatnot. And, of course, I'm really kind of opening this up to you guys, too, to get your feedback and opinions, and I'll try to answer kind of your thoughts. But mine has always been, you know, hey, I'm here, I beta test, and what happens, happens. And, and that's kind of, you know, what my role, what I've kind of seen my role here with the game, and I, and I appreciate you guys have made a lot of amazing suggestions on playing um, Battlegrounds, Fortnite, uh, other content as you see, I'm covering Civilization VI, and um, I started kind of making some shifts to the channel, I've been doing like Friday Vlogs, just to kind of mix things up, because not only are things going on you know, in the gaming world, but things are going on with YouTube as well. Lots of things going on across social media, we're probably going to continue to see a lot of stuff happening. See, we're, I mean, we're dealing with some really innocuous things here. Look, I mean, we got, like, errors. I'm just all over the place today, guys. I apologize. <laughs> you guys are getting, like, the genuine rough... Just the way I would be talking to friends. So you guys are getting that, just kind of that real organic um, <clears throat> production value today. But as far as uh, additional news, you know, we're going to hear a lot of fallout. We're going to hear a lot of stuff today across the boards. I, I really don't want to add anything other than what you guys have heard me read there from that article because so much of it will be speculative for right now until um, until they can, I guess, uh, realign who can be like a spokesman for the game, who, who will be kind of heading up the game now that uh, some of the developers have left the team, you know, your directors and your, you know, people that were pretty much uh, the shot callers, as it were. They've all kind of left the game now. So, um, it'll be real interesting to see. I don't, yeah, I don't get this, this, these errors. and I don't know if these are just uh, a way for them to correct duping or what it is. Guys, um, I'm going to wrap it up. I, I, this, I'm really just kind of just... I'm not surprised. I'm not stunned. I'm not shocked. It's just that, um, you know, we've been doing this for three years, right? We, we've been playing this game for three years, and... <laughs> I guess uh, the day of reckoning has come. The day of decision making on what's going to happen to the fate of the game has arrived. So, you guys are welcome to um, leave your comments down there below. Click on the obligatory uh, watermark icon that you see appearing on your screen as I do just like a little closing sweep here to kind of give it a little level of professionalism here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thank you, as always, for your support of the channel. Likes, shares, and comments. I will probably uh, follow this up probably a little bit later in the week with a little bit more uh, information as we get it. And uh, I will continue to cover the game in its conclusion to see where it goes. And I will see you guys in the next update.